mate, it was a tough bout. You know, I, I said before the fight I was going to come out victorious, and that's exactly what I done. Look, I, I went, I got in there, and it was, it was straight from the get go with Joe, um, and you know, I was expecting that. Uh, so, you know, I was, I was aware of it. You know, I was, I was hot coming out, um, in getting in there in the ring. So, you know, I was ready for whatever. When I wanted to sit back and um, box him, uh, you know, that's what I did. I was catching him on the outside and he couldn't keep up with my speed, so, um, you know, uh, we got there and then. Yeah, he, he's definitely um, added a few tricks and stuff to his uh, game, but, you know, we, we cont like I said, we continue learning. And, you know, we, I use my, my speed to my advantage and, yeah, uh, he got the job done tonight. Uh, I wish, I, I wish someone had freaking less power than me, man. <laughs> <laughs> coming into these, um, coming into these fights, you know, worrying about power and that. But like I said, uh, I get the job done every time. So you know, let's just say speed beats power any any day of the week. Uh, I worked, I worked hard for this. I trained, I trained hard. Um, I'm not sure why uh, the energy wasn't there tonight. Um, you know, it, all credit to Justice and, and Team Huni. Huni. Uh, I got good confidence in my power. I just I couldn't catch him clean. Um, even the overhands were, I don't know why, uh, it's taking it out of me, um, looping over the top. I just couldn't get out of second, third gear. I wanted to land uh, a few more combinations on the ropes. I, I felt like uh, I should have been uh, more dominant in, in the clinches than, than I was tonight. He's, he's the better man tonight, he's the better boxer. He's sharp. He's he's fast. I know he's fast, but I just I just couldn't get out of. I couldn't uh, you know land the combinations I wanted to. He, his reactions were good. He kind of slipped his uh, uh, punch. His his eyes very good. And um, yeah, I just I just couldn't get couldn't get it off tonight. Where does this leave your career now, Joe? Um, I'm not really too sure. I gotta you know I gotta go back regroup and um, come back again. It's. It's hard to, hard to judge, I have to watch the fight too. There were two different fights going on. Like my guy, Justice Huni, was fighting for the IBF, was fighting for the WBO and the WBC titles. That f***ing idiot Goodall was fighting for the WWE title. Like seriously, he came to wrestle, he headbutted. It was a disgusting performance in my opinion by Joe Goodall. If he had a massive opportunity to come down here and set up a, an ongoing rivalry with Justice Huni where people would be excited to see them come together. Goodall did nothing but make the fight as dirty as he possibly could, as we alluded to beforehand, and made it as boring as he possibly could. And if they think they're ever going to come and have a rematch with Justice Uni, they can go f*** themselves. <laughs> he knew that he couldn't beat Justice on um, boxing ability, so he, he decided to wrestle. And it was quite obvious. You look at rounds one, two, three, and four, it's like they were hoping to wear down Justice by leaning all over him, by putting him in headlocks. And I've got no doubt they did a whole lot of wrestling you know, before they came down here, and probably in the last four or five months, once they knew they had the fight, because they were never going to come down and have a boxing fight. They wanted to have a wrestling match, and that's why they can go f themselves if they think they could ever start a rivalry. Because I'm not interested. And here's the one thing I've spoken to everyone about in the heavyweight division in Australia: we want rivalries. We want guys that we can fight once a year, and people are going to go, "I can't wait to go to that fight." And the only thing to me that stood out for this fight here was the supreme skills of Justice Hooney, the toughness of Justice Hooney, and they brought to the table a wrestling game. And it's like, there was a massive opportunity to put on a hell of a show here. You know, and yes, just, um, 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 Joe might have got knocked out, but you know what, if he had gone eight to ten rounds throwing punches the whole way through, I'd be going, let's do that again, that'd be fantastic. But right now I'm going, what the f***? Would I bother when all you want to do is wrestle and go with the WWE? Have you spoken to KB? No, I haven't spoken to KB because I'm pissed off at the moment. But at some stage, I'm sure I'll calm down and we'll talk and have a bit of a beer. And I've got to say, I'm pretty happy about it.